So, in the studio with us right now, we have a dancer. Now, someone asked me when I when I booked this person for the show, I was like, why do you want to have a dancer on the radio? But, Barbara DuBose, you're more than a dancer. You uh, And, you know, you have like, you know, Tina Turner had a song, Private Dancer. But you're a public <laughs> dancer. <laughs> it's like... It's like anywhere you go in this town, this public, where there's music going on, there's one person. Now, some of you listeners out there might not know her by name. I've heard her called the Dancing Machine. I've heard her called a lot of stuff. But Barbara DuBose is that person that dances from the first note nonstop until <laughs> the thing is over. Where she gets that energy from... No one knows, so I figured I would invite her on the show so that we could get it from her mouth itself. Like, is she a human being? <laughs> she, she she an android? <laughs> I mean, what in the world? What powers? Barbara DuBose, how you doing? I am fantastic. Thank well, you for you having me on the show. You look good, too, for the radio. You all just look like you're going to trial for Vanity Six. I could be. <laughs> you know, look, I'm playing for later, Tony. But okay, you know it's going to be dancing, scary. though, right? I know it'll be dancing involved in it. So, so let's get straight to it. What is your motivation? What makes you, what makes you dance so much? I just love dancing. I love the passion. Mm -hmm. I've got the passion. I love, love the music. Mm -hmm. I love the beat. It's the energy that comes from every song, because we know every song has a different beat. Mm -hmm. And my body just moves and takes control. And so for you, it's more than it. just dancing. It's actually expression. Expression, it's like you're exercise. Hearing and you're interpreting the music. Because I've been at things with you, and I've seen like the song is going on. And it's a routine with you. Like, no man on the planet wants to dance with you. Yeah, like, I just want to say that right yeah, now. Yeah, like, sign a waiver. It's our hamstring or No stuff. man wants to dance with you because you may start out dancing with him, and the next thing you know, you're way over there in your routine. Yeah. He's standing there moving side to side. Yeah, he's standing there with like five yeah. <laughs> But now, even with the line dances, it's not right. Barbara does the line dances, and everybody, know, like, for instance, you're doing the wobble, right? Everybody knows I do the wobble. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the wobble has certain steps. Not with Barbara. <laughs> well, it's with Tony. Huh. It has certain steps. Yeah. I just like to add some you extras add to stuff, my step, but, but, but I'm still in check, you're and in I'm still in step. But it messes the other people around you up. <laughs> but well, they know not to lick at me. I know, and that's, that's the problem, though. <laughs> you see this sea of people doing the wobble. Everybody's in sync. It's Perfectly choreographed. It's like synchronized swimming. Somewhere in the middle of that pile, Barbara's facing the wrong way. Still in time and doing the steps. Handstands. Handstands. <laughs> yeah, handstands. But, but isn't that boring when you look at other people and is, everybody else being in sync? But when I, I bring that with different you. flavor. You but I'm just telling you, those three or four people on each side of you get messed up. Because they're looking at the people beside them to figure out if they in the right motion. But when if they turn, know the dance routine. When you, when you turn around backwards facing them, they don't know what to do at that point. It throws their rhythm all off. But you got to do you. But if they know the dance routine, yeah. and even by looking at me, right. they should not be off key because they know the mm -hmm. dance routine. I understand that. I understand. Fantastic. I understand. It, it can throw some people off. So, I was at a function recently where, and you don't even you don't even know this because the guy didn't tell you, but I was sitting at a table with a guy, and the whole night you were on the floor. He videotaped you from like your knees down the entire night, and he's making a work of art about dancing that just has your legs in it. That's the whole piece of art that he's doing. And when he gets it done, he's gonna send it to me, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna send it well, to you. Well, he needs to contact uh, you beforehand so yeah. he can get paid for this. Absolutely, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> he wants to divulge all that information. What, what is going on? But this whole time, he was filming, and I'm like, dude, you obsessed with her? Why are you filming her so much? And I look at the footage, and you wouldn't even know it was you. It's just like I said, it's like I know my legs, down. Tony. You I will know. know my legs. You will know, but you had pants. You had them flare bottom Doesn't pants. Doesn't matter. This is going to contain my the, legs. The flames <laughs> caught on fire on the, on the, on the um, dance floor. And I know my moves. So my my legs, my pants, my moves. If yeah. I saw that video, yeah. I can say, that's me. That's me. Can I get paid? <laughs> <laughs> can I so, get a little 
<laughs> some, some. So, how long have you been dancing? To be perfectly honest, yeah. I thought about that question. Okay. And I can honestly say, and I asked my mom, mm -hmm. Mom, when did I begin to dance? When you were in my belly, and I couldn't wait until you, you got out. <laughs> Did you dance out the belly? I danced out the belly. So when the, when they pulled you out and the doctor went to slap, he couldn't even catch baby. you. He was gone all across the floor already. I was a wiggly baby. He was doing like the baby shuffle. <laughs> <laughs> right out the bed. Two step know, toddler. <laughs> the two step toddler. <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, I just remember being extremely young, and I remember mm -hmm. my grandfather would always seem like I would dance every weekend. Mm -hmm. And he loved, loved, loved to dance. Mm -hmm. And I remember I had two uncles. And two of my uncles, Roosevelt, he would go ahead and he would go to different clubs. He would mm -hmm. get on top of a table. Mm -hmm. He would jump from the table and he would call that dance routine the splash. Okay. And so he would always <laughs> splash on the floor. I'm like, oh, I like that. And then my uncle Fred, he always danced and moved like James Brown. Okay. I mean, he had those fast feet, yeah, the rhythm. I'm like, I like that. And I remember every day, my mom would always play music in the house. Mm -hmm. So I just think with just the passion and right. seeing, seeing that growing up my family it. growing yeah. up with music all the time, I mean, mm -hmm. it was just inevitable that I was going to, hey, yeah. enjoy well, music I, and dance. I think, personally, I think it's fantastic. Like, when I go to anything and I see you on the floor, like, the entire time, and some people, you know, you know how people are. They're like, man, she's dancing the whole time. I'm like, shut up. I'm mean, like, what are you doing, haters? <laughs> yeah. But I admire, and I can tell, you know, it is a passion. And you got to be in, like, super shape, though. People, that's the second question people ask me. Like, I'll be at something else. They're like, you know her? I'm like, yeah. They say, she's got to be in great shape. Like, like I work out with you. <laughs> but I mean, to look at you and to see the stuff you do, while, during the dance moves and all that stuff, you've got to be in excellent shape. Absolutely. And as a matter of fact, I will be 53 come June 27. Mm -hmm. And just with dancing, you're moving every yeah. muscle in yeah. your body. Yeah. And by me being able to dance, and because I don't drink, I don't smoke, mm -hmm. I try to take care of my body and right. I'm really careful as to what I put in it. Right. So when it comes to dancing, yeah, you definitely have got to have a lot of energy. Okay. I mean, I like to put a little bit of Zumba into yeah, it, you some hip hop, everything, everything yeah, into it. But and, and then I hit the dance floor. Mm -hmm. If I'm there from ten to two, I may get out the dance floor maybe one time just to go and get some water, freshen up because if there's a slow song, I'm not yeah, slow. You're doing that. So, <laughs> so, so uh, one mode. Slow song, but I have seen her dancing to us. To a slow song because she just they weren't playing nothing else, so she said, Well, shoot, I'm gonna go ahead and dance anyway. She was dancing, it was choreographed, yeah. <laughs> it's like somebody whispers, and she was doing choreography. On the floor. Yeah, my wife and my daughter used to dance with y'all. Had a dance troupe back in Absolutely. like probably late 90s. Uh, I forget the name of the, the group, but uh, Dance for You, or to dance for to you, dance for you. And as, uh, as a matter of fact, I also used to have another dance group, mm -hmm. which Jackie. Mm -hmm. And Camille danced with me along with Barbara Johnson, Patricia Smith, my niece, Peter Pop, and then of course my youngest daughter Destiny. We all had a dance group. And y'all used to dance around and dance for absolutely events and Farmville, Lynchburg, surrounding counties. So anyway, I wanted to just have you on the show, like I said, to just talk to you and find out what your motivation was, and we did, and it's just. You know, you, I just know you personally. You're an awesome person. You're a great person. Like you, things Sam. you do are good. You know, I know you Absolutely. outside of the dance floor, so you're always doing positive stuff. And people may not see it all the time, but so next time y'all see, what do you mean people may not see it all the time? I'm saying they don't see it. They don't see all the time. Just checking Tony. Just checking Tony. You know what I mean? <laughs> Announced that you just did a charity something. Exactly. Okay. So that's, that's not what it's about. It's so I'm putting you on blast. So I'm just saying I'm putting you out there Thank for the good works that you do. Barbara DeBose coming soon to a dance floor near you.